Hey guys, um, so we're starting to talk about the coordinate grid, so I wanted to give some time to kind of really explain some things to you. So first, I hope you're all staying happy and healthy and that everything is going well with you. Um, and I know a lot of you already know about the coordinate plane. Some of the big stuff I wanna show you is that you have two axes on um, the coordinate plane. And if you look closely, this one has an X, left to right is X, and the vertical is Y. Okay, and you can literally think of these as um, number lines or, I mean, yeah, just a vertical and a horizontal number line, doesn't matter what kind, um, and that they're intersecting. They always, always, always are going to intersect at zero because that's where thing, they start at the beginning at the, where they first get going. Um, so you have quadrants with all positive numbers. You have a quadrant with positive and negative. You have a negative, negative, and then you have a negative, positive. In fifth grade, you only need to know the all positive quadrant. However, you should know that the other ones are there. Um, and for our escape room and our challenge room, it's going to be right there for you, too. So um, every um, spot on the coordinate plane has is like a location. It's like an address that you can kind of find anything on it. Um, so this one happens to increase in increments of one whole. You might see a vertical number line or a coordinate grid with um, fractions in between the numbers or decimals, um, these ones is using holes. So for problem number one, it has circled negative five, four. If you're seeing the alphabet, the letter X comes before Y. Um, so you're gonna go across first and it's asking for negative five. So you're gonna start at the origin and you're gonna go back. Is that, <laughs> is that back for you guys? I don't know. Whichever way is backwards, you're gonna go that way, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. And then you have a positive four, so you're gonna go up four. One, two, three, four. And that's gonna give you your circle, okay? So now it's asking about the hexagon. The hexagon has six sides. So you would look for the hexagon on your map and it's right here, all right? So we need to find out where it falls on the x-axis. Doesn't go here, not here. Looks like it's on the three. So we would write negative three, and then the y is positive six. So if you're writing like a location on your, um, coordinate plane, you're always going to do X, then comma Y. It's always going to be in the parentheses. Um, and that was kind of just basically what I wanted to kind of go over with going left, go side to side and then up and down. Okay. It's just like a number line. So if you see it going negative, you know what to do. Just keep counting negatives. All right. Um, I hope that helps. I miss you guys. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and being nice to people because it's hard being quarantined for this long, isn't it? All right. Um, stay in touch. Bye. Why is this not ending?